Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager. We're on episode number 12. We left off last time right where we are at the moment, which is we have an agreement in principle with Kasenseva. Kasenseva is hopefully our second athlete, but agreement in principle does not mean they're going to actually sign. We get final answer within a week. Let's go ahead and push forward and see what happens. Do we get our second athlete or not? And there you have it. The agreement in principle has become an agreement. We are ready to sign a contract. We finally have two athletes on the squad and we're not far off now from actually being able to make that three. What a difference that's going to make financially for us. It's not going to be all straight profit from here. It's going to take a bit with this new athlete to get them because our staff can't just double down, uh, unfortunately. And so we need at least another coach. We're going to probably need that second trainer finally, and then we'll go from there. And so we start with a coach with a 12 uh, motivating skill, and hopefully we can get her signed relatively cheap. We'll see if we can get her for about 3000 or 2800 Let's see what happens. Yep, there you go. Okay. Dipping down to the bottom of the barrel, getting the most affordable that we can get of the level one trainers above and beyond any of the others that are out there. Uh, we have a trainer who is capable in the areas that I am not. And let's see if uh, that could pay off. And oh, yes, quite affordable. Uh, let's see if we can get her signed for two seasons. No. Okay, fine. Counter offer. Uh, only a small decrease should be enough. And got it signed. Nice. Okay. And that, that's pretty cheap. That's not going to make a huge difference on our finances. Of course, it will make some. But with uh, a lot of money coming in from our new athlete, we'll see how that pays off for us. And both coaches have agreed to sign. So we will have them uh, tomorrow. And we'll see how that changes our setup. An interesting note that I just found out, junior tournaments are not played out. They are simply simulated. And so... Uh, Kasenseva in her first tournament was a quarter finalist in a junior tournament. For us, payout ends up 353 bucks. That's 59%. So she got less than that by uh, about 40 what 40% of the overall. So she, she got a fair bit less than what we got on that. Okay, so a physio oddly can only work effectively with one athlete. That's strange, but okay, fine. We'll we'll keep our physio with and as she's our higher competitor, we need to try to keep her healthy to bring in the cash. But I'm switching coaches. So our new coach, Conte, is going to coach Anne. And effectively, you can coach three categories. But if you're coaching one athlete, that's the one that you're training. And so Conte sets up in three ways to help Anne Lowell. For myself, I'm going to go ahead and take Kasenseva and see how fast we can develop and bring her along, even though she is not ultimately going to be as good as Anne, but we want to get her competitive so she can bring in some money for, for us. And then our new trainer, Strykova. Strykova, not as the direct coach to any athlete, can work with more than one athlete. But again, you can only do so effectively in three categories so each athlete in technical and then one in the training game plan which is not their strength anyway so with just three coaches on our roster and one physio we were able to fill all but two categories which is certainly better uh, than where we were it helps it helps uh it, it's a step in the right direction and we'll see how quickly cousin seva develops because she's got a ways to go yet. Speaking of, let's go ahead and check out uh, Constant Seva. All right, you can see she's got some decent technical ability already coming in, though her return needs some serious work. Uh, physical is where she's really lacking, but that's one reason why it's very important that I'm the one working with her because hopefully we can develop that quite quickly when she's still some ways off her potential. And then mental attributes, oh my goodness, her confidence, composure, killer instinct, and fighting spirit 
are quite low, along with our anticipation for that matter. So we really, really need to work on training in that area. Uh, we'll see how we can do. She's loyal, determined. She's a competitor. Personality-wise is good. Let's see if we can develop. You can clearly see from the summary that it is the mental attributes that are a real, real weakness for her. But as an early bloomer, hopefully she can develop quickly. We'll see if we can get her uh, in a more competitive state before long and using that revenue share of ours to uh, bring in some serious cash. We get exactly what I was hoping for. Rapid development. One week of training with Kasen Seva and she already has picked up a point in speed. She's up. To, she's going to go up to a 9 from an 8. Her anticipation jumps by almost 20%. Her natural fitness jumps by 13.5%. That is rapid compared to the kind of progress we get with Ann Lowell. And that's what I was hoping for. Rapid development for a young athlete. I was hoping that it wasn't just this static minor gains throughout. You could take a young athlete and develop them quick. Good to know. That was what I expected, but you never quite know with a game that's got a few balancing issues uh, contained within it. Overall, pretty playable, but, you know, still minor balancing issues. This, though, they've got it right. And for comparison, you can see this is her very minor, minor gains. Now, her gains were a little bit better before, as in when I was coaching her, she was she was doing a little bit more. But not much. I mean, we're talking uh, 4 or 5%, not 2 and 3, but still minor, minor gains. So it takes her a long time to develop. I mean, you know, in a season and a half, she's picked up maybe 4 or 5 points, attribute points, kind of across the board. That's it, 4 or 5. Uh, leaning towards 5 on that, but Kostanseva in one week has already picked up 1 point. Entering a new month with a couple new coaches, the new athlete, here's the new look at the finances. So we're still bringing in that 7000 a month. Expenses now pushed up just about to sixteen. So we're back to that 9000 deficit, but we have more income coming in than before. But Kasanseva, we're going to need to get her out of the juniors as soon as possible and start getting her into some regular tournaments where even if she performs poorly, she can at least bring in a better chunk of cash and remember because of the 59 percent that we're bringing in that chunk is a whole lot better than what we're getting from Anne. but we need to scale her into a, a little bit higher tournament to make that happen even if she's not coming out a winner she'll still train and develop and and improve and kind of play her way into it but we need kind of the finances part to uh, come around for us at 213, you know, we're only 60,000 away from where we need to get the next upgrade in the business center. And that business center part is going to be really important for us uh, to, to kind of bring these up. In fact, I, I don't know what the next mark is, but it very well could be, say, 15,000. I, th I think I've seen it. It's going to be roughly along those lines. And that would get us to a, a break even balance, uh, which means we're turning profit instead of having to recover losses every month. Next interesting element for us, as I have swapped coaching Kasanseva from Ann Lowell, by not coaching Ann Lowell, we now don't participate in those tournaments directly. She's just doing them on her own, which another minor tournament, her third win of the year. So with this new coach, she's finding a little success. So maybe actually switching is a good thing. It was a minor tournament. Payout for us was rather small, but third title already of the season for Anne, and then in just three weeks Kostanseva a second attribute point has been in improved now reflexes at 10 and like I said now that we are coaching Kostanseva apparently some junior tournaments are playable we have a or it just was delayed because I wasn't managing her previously that very well could have been the case but Kostanseva Number 11 in the junior rankings, so she's pretty dang good in that department, and she enters this tiny little tournament, junior tournament here in Moscow. Uh, she enters as the one seed. We'll see what she can do. 
And it's our first on-the-court look at Kostanseva. We're going to have to kind of get to know her in time because I know that she's got a few attribute weaknesses. She's got a few physical weaknesses that we're already addressing. I mean, we've already picked up two attribute points. Uh, but all three of her tactical styles are aggressive offensive styles. So we are going to have to work with her as an offensive player. I can see kind of right off the bat where she's really trying to play the opponent into uh, playing from their back heels, which she's doing so far. Oh, I thought she would have had that one. And she did. She she ultimately forced the uh, the fault. She's good. For a youth, she's good. She's definitely got some technical skills already. It's not over yet, but she's already got one game, and she's looking at game number two. I don't know if the juniors play. I mean, obviously it's three sets, but I don't know if they're going to play any fewer games. She definitely has a few weaknesses in her game that we're going to need to shore up, but she's got she's got good base attributes in a lot of places. All right, well, she's up two games. Uh, she might lose this one, though. Let's go ahead and speed things up. She's fighting back here in game three. She's got a chance. She's back to deuce. And she's cruising. It's not four games to win the set. It must be six. Glova wins one anyway. It looks like she's comfortable here in game seven. One more point. Set point. And there it is. Let's speed it up even more here. Second set. Tight first game, but she still wins it. Tight third game and again wins it, but it's four, five, six. She only loses one game in two sets. Round of 16 against wild card, low rank. She should be favored, and we'll go ahead and use the quick sim. She has a really weak return, so we turn down the intensity there. We just want to get things in play, but she's aggressive. She's attacking, so once you get kind of past the return, she can then start working on getting somebody on their heels. 6062, 64% of points won. Four aces, just the one double fault. 11 unforced errors, 29 winners. That's good for a youth. And makes it to the round of 64 in the Madrid Open. Payouts 4,000. Nearly breaks us even for the month already. Into the quarterfinal here against the eight seed. Tighter contest. 6263, six, definitely closer here. But still, 63% of points won. 11 aces, zero double faults, 23 winners. Just five unforced errors. What? Into the semis, now against the four seed. Again with the tighter contest. How will she fare? 6-3, six, 6-2. Six, and she's through another one. Just six unforced errors. And we're into the final. Rachel Gallus, the seven seed, ranked 33rd on the junior circuit. And they've gone head-to-head -head twice, and she's won both of them. All right, so we're going to take this one on quickly. Game one, not off to a good start. She's very stressed. They're both stressed for that matter. Uh, stamina, though, advantage as Kassenseva has gone pretty quickly through this tournament so far. She hasn't played too deep. She hasn't had a third set yet. She doesn't have uh, very good stamina, actually. I think that's one of her weaker attributes. Again, physically, that's, that's her weakness. It's her technical play that is her strength. So far, we're slightly on the back hill, but we've we've been keeping it tight. Though this is one of the danger zones, and she fights back from 40-15, but does not win the game. So she trails two to four. Trailing, trailing five two. Not looking good here. In this first set, we might be having to. Uh, Play from behind. I mean, we are playing from behind. That's one set down. 
Now fearful, too. That's that's even worse. She needs this game badly. I like this three-quarter view. What about the TV view? It's fast, but it's... I think you still see... You see so much more of the game. You can see how she's getting winners, but she's not consistent. And I think it's, it's that physical part because she's not getting the ball when her opponent get, oh. uh, She's going out. She hasn't won a game yet. She's not going to win this one. But still, getting to the final is a good step even if she's higher ranked than the opponent. Like I said, we have some work to do with her. Definitely have some work to do. The weaknesses are apparent. Ouch. Not a game one in that last set. That's devastating for her, but that's okay. Junior Grand Slam, 21,000 on the payout. That should be decent for us. Man, wow, look at that natural fitness nearly leveling up. That one should be coming quite soon. Meanwhile, Anne's progress has slowed to a crawl, but that's okay. She's the player that she is. It's okay that she's not developing rapidly anymore. Kassenzeva uh, is going to develop much more rapidly and we can use those attribute points to turn her into a winner to get her out of the junior ranks. I, I think that's more useful for us at this point because currently I don't think Cuss and Save is going to actually make us money. Uh, the two trainers or the coach and trainer that we've hired is costing more than what she's bringing in currently, unfortunately. Girl 60, this is a small, small tournament. She should win this one, though I will not coach it firsthand. We'll see how she does. She goes up against the 13th seed, Sophie Williams, in this first one. 396 in the junior rankings. So what is the two seed? 221. So she's got a massive, massive advantage over the field. She should win this very comfortably. The payout's very small, but it should be a comfortable win for her. Let's actually even turn up the intensity as, as that is the case. 6160. 6060 six, zero in the second round. Quarterfinals 6061. Six, Very dominating, over 70%. 6260 six, in the semifinals and cruises her way into the finals. The finals will be against the 10 seed and 316th rank overall. Again, she should be heavily favored for this one. And that's 6360. Six, she does win this tiny little tournament. This feels feels like a local tournament. I mean, it feels like the, the tournament you'd play against y your local schoolmates. And if you're looking to be a pro, you should win that comfortably if you're that good. Boost to natural fitness now. So level 12 already. That's her third attribute gain in just six weeks, something along those lines. So again, it's very rapid at this point. And I haven't even bothered to focus on the training here lately. Now that I have some coaches, we can kind of just let it be. This is allowing me to speed things up, and we're able to see more things happening in a quicker fashion. Well, outside of the finances involved, as in tiny little tournaments and not bringing in much money, even when we win them, uh, cost and save us so far so good. I mean, the, the rapid development part in particular, I'm very fond of because we can get her up towards Anne's level pretty quick at this rate as as a 16-year-old who is far from her potential. Anne, on the other hand, is slow developing even when we work with her. I have an idea on something I want to do going forward that's going to speed things up and help develop the athletes a little bit faster. But in the meantime, there's one thing we need to keep an eye out because this is going to change things, and that is our sports center will hit level three in one month. And so that is going to open a new opportunity for yet another athlete to come in. And so we'll switch things up at that time. I'll need a little bit more staff, which is going to put us on the back heel a little bit financially. Uh, we'll see. I really need to get that next business center upgrade as the next thing, because it turns out that unless you get top athletes like Anne who are going to get into big tournaments 
the juniors, it just doesn't pay, which I suppose makes a certain amount of sense. I think I'd like to manually go in and see if I can start getting Cus and Seva into the occasional larger tournament so she can kind of help pay her way a little bit better for us. Uh, because right now it's it's very uh, minor what's being brought in. And if we're going to bring in Scout, Katrina Scout, as our next athlete, which seems likely is our, our next round of scouting is not turning up with any quality just yet. Katrina Scout's going to be in the same position. She is the same type of player as Kasanseva, meaning one and a half star, three star potential. So, uh, you know, okay, but needs to develop, needs to be trained. And that'll switch things up tactically for me on my approach, but I already have an idea for that. But we'll see what that is next time. I'm DeCathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.